The Spamzilla filters are used by clicking on the filter button and expanding the filters section. Within the filters section you can use any of the options here to hide or remove any of the domains from the domain results table. So for example if you don't want to be looking at the spam domains you can simply uncheck the tick box for spam and you'll see that there's no more any spam related domains in the domain results table. Then if you wanted to go further and you wanted to have domains that only have a certain amount of redirects so for example if you only wanted to have a maximum amount of say three redirects for all of the domains then you just put the number in the box here or use the up and down arrow and the filter is automatically applied you don't need to click any save button or anything and you can see the amount of domains that have been removed or filtered from the domain results table. So, so far we've unchecked spam, we've added a maximum amount of redirects as being three. So this is, this is from a previously selected domain. You'll see that now all of the domains that are in the list here will have less than three redirects over their entire history. Okay, so this can save quite a bit of time with spam checking. If you wanted to go further and you wanted to have a maximum amount of back, backlinks, sometimes if you have site-wide links or there's some kind of link spam, you'll find that there's thousands and thousands of backlinks on a domain. Maybe you only want to have a maximum of 300 domains, uh, sorry, 300 links. So you can add that filter in there. Obviously the more filters that you add into here, the more domains that will be removed from the domain results table and that means the less domains that you ne then need to manually go through the rest of the data and spam check. There is also an info icon here that you can click on which provides some more information about the different filters and how to use them. Okay, so for example, redirects and parked pages. Uh, it's a maximum acceptable value. So in this example that we had, we put a three in for redirects. So three is the maximum value of redirects that is accepted. Anything that's higher than a three will be removed. Okay, so in another example where there is a minimum acceptable value or filter, so for domain age, it's minimum acceptable. So for example, for domain age, you may want to be only looking at domains that are older than say five years. So we'll, whoops, so we'll put a five in there. We'll put a five in there. And now you'll see that every domain in the list here is older than five years. Okay. So that's how the filters work.